and say mm-hmm. one thing that and one thing that hurt you is that when you knew they was closing everything down, everything, and then you should have just went to the court clerk who was up there at the desk. For, hey, look here, I've been here. I was summer. The day was supposed to be my day, court day. Hey, you need to give me something right and state that, hey, you know, that y'all close this up. My case is discharged or something because I've been here all day. You know, so in other words, if you just let them just do what they want to do, you know, yes, they, <laughs> that's what, I was surprised they didn't put a warrant after your arrest. They did. Yeah, I got yeah. arrested and put in jail. I was in jail all last night for 12 hours because yeah, there was the yeah. warrant for arrest for failure and, to appear. And see, that's what happened because it went right on the docket as you failed to show because no one had a, had a record of it. Uh, you didn't see that they had a record of it, you know. And, and, and in other words, it's just, let's just make an example. If I know i got to go to court tomorrow and I go there and, 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 and no one hear my case, and now I know I'm supposed to be there. So I go there, they, they, it's not even on the docket, they don't address it. I'm going to that court clerk, I'm showing them my information. Look, yeah, I was supposed to be on this case today. Here's my docket, showing I'm supposed to be here. Y'all didn't call my case, I need you to stamp this. And if any of this case is discharged, I'll take it to the judge and do something with it, because I'm here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. At least Larry finally came up with a decent answer. I can't believe that this guy doesn't have this that simple com- common sense to say, hey, you know, uh, I know all these courthouses have video cameras. I know it'll clearly indicate that I came in at 8.33 a.m., I guarantee. I went through a metal detector. I guarantee somebody at the front gate remembers me being here. I guarantee there's a videotape of every single person who walks through this metal detector on file somewhere. And I guarantee there's something for me leaving. So, but like Larry okay. said, that's all you had to do at the end of the day before you left. Or you just get up and go home. It's just say, like, oh, it's 5 o'clock, I'm going home. What do you do, just get up and go home? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't know what to, what no, to do. Well, uh, why, why, no, why didn't you wait until you were thrown out of the building? Okay. Did, a, did some security guard guy say, hey, get the hell out of the building? And they all would have run to you, huh? Yeah. Okay, so they, did that so, me, they did that to me and my, the mother of my ch- children one time. In court, they didn't call us. We sat there and like threw us out of the building. And I said, "Oh no, we're going to walk to this courtroom. I'm summoned to appear here in room 201. You are going to walk to this courtroom with me." He says, "I'm telling you, there's nobody left in the building. Nobody left. Uh, you are going to walk to that room with me." It was pitch black. And you, when when I have to use you as a witness, I'm going to call you as a witness that at you know 5:34 p.m. We walked to that room, and that room was empty. And I sat out in this lobby all day from 8, eight o'clock in the morning. He said, oh, he said well, that's not, that won't be, you know, necessary. He said, oh, you want to bet? I said, you know, you're going to walk to that courtroom, or I'm going to walk to that courtroom. And I'm going to prove that that courtroom is, is, is closed, or the building is empty, or I'm walking in there. Right. You know, it's like, I'm not going anywhere. Because you want to throw me out and me and uh, the wife, uh, the mother of my children, out of the building? I said, like, no, we ain't going nowhere. We're summoned to appear here. You get paid to be here. I'm summoned to be here. I'm staying here until, until I'm summoned to come forth into the courtroom. That you know, right now. And he said, I'm telling you. He says, I said, how do I know the judge ain't going to come back at six o'clock? How do I know? Right. I said, I'm not going to hold myself liable. No, I'm here today. I'm going to stay here today. Like it ain't midnight. I ain't going nowhere. And that's the beauty of CCTV footage. It's not just there for you to be uh, picked on. It's also there to to save you as well. It's there for proof. You can say, well, go back and look on this uh, old yeah. CCTV footage. All right, so what if, where do I go from here now? I'm going to have to... So I, I need to file a claim against uh, Randy, who was the one who gave me the uh, criminal contempt charge that... Uh, is, is their case, and uh, he is trespassing. I don't know how to write the claim. Liberty. Can, can you know? Is, is there any way I can you know, donate to have Carl help me with this situation? Yeah. On the website, the broad mine one or uncommon law. Broad mine. org. Do I need to, to put any specific information for him to help me, or? Yeah, I mean, send him an email. Send him an email. 
Yeah, just put myself up. Hey, you guys should be able to help him with this one. Bill, I, uh, Larry definitely got this one. I mean, uh, I, mean I live in North Carolina. Is anybody in North in, in, that I could talk to or, you know, anybody you know, know, that can help me, I can talk to, phone number to help me? I mean, I, I got to, I'm, I'm kind of like in the middle. I'm not a, a novice at this, but I'm not, uh, you know, on Carl's level. I understand about, you know, uh, I'm a man. And, and common law, so that, you know, like I said, I'm, I've never filed a claim before, something I've never done. You know, when you, you don't do something the first time, you're always nervous about making a mistake and not doing it right and not doing it properly. Okay, let me ask you this. What, what makes you think you need to file a claim against the judge? Because uh, he unlawfully detained me because I didn't harm him as a man. I didn't, I didn't uh, cause a wrong to him, you know. And he harmed me. But it's the people that, that detained you, right? What was that, Pally? It was, the, it was the, the policeman that detained you. It wasn't the judge, though, right? Well, the first time the, the judge, that's what the, the, the criminal contempt of, of court was, was uh, when they called their their case, I came up to the bar, bar and I, I stopped. And uh, uh, I was going to ask him a question. And he he just yelled at me, uh, uh, come forward. And uh, uh, I went to ask him a question again, and then he immediately said, uh, "You're in contempt of court." They rushed, took me, took me down to the uh, jail, um, and then they gave me this this uh, saying that, "Well, here you have a court date. You have to come back for this uh, criminal contempt of court charge." And is this is all about is is the criminal contempt of court. Okay, let me say this because I heard you say you you know about the man stuff and all that and what I'm hearing you say one thing and like I said, um being a man is a lifestyle. It's okay, a hang, lifestyle. A second, hang a second, Larry. Why didn't anybody jump this guy's shit and say to this guy, hey What's the question you asked the judge twice that held you in contempt? Did you tell him, hey, judge, uh, are you fucking uh, my old lady? I mean, did you ask him what the question was that held him in contempt? What was the question that held you in contempt? I asked him uh, uh, if before entering this bar, am I entering in? I was trying to ask him. I didn't get it all out because I I was going to ask him, if by passing this bar, am I entering into their jurisdiction? You're always in their jurisdiction. Well, yeah, you're he in, said that was you're in the public. You're in the, what does jurisdiction mean? Whether or not they have uh, uh, the right to hear your case or not. No, control. So control, yes. Yeah, so you're control, you're yeah. in the public, man. That's part of their domestic authority. They have the right to control you, just like when you walk into my house. I got the right to control you. Are you under my jurisdiction when you're in my house? You better believe it. Are you in, under their jurisdiction when you cross your threshold and enter into the real world, enter into the street? You better believe it. That's a ridiculous question. Of course you're in their jurisdiction. Are you in your house? No. Well, then that's pretty uh, self-evident then, ain't it? Right. It's not your freaking house. But did you claim it to be your house? Did you claim it and say, hey, this is a public courthouse. I'm the public. This is my public courthouse. You're my public servants. This is my court. This is my house. No, you didn't do that. You just come up with this silly nonsense, and it's like, you know what? I got time for this shit today. He's like, you know, you want to pull this shit you watch on YouTube videos, you want to pull this shit, you know. You know, you better think about what you're doing before you come back in here with this YouTube video bullshit. I don't blame the judge holding you in contempt. Not a, not a bit. You know the rules of the game, just don't play it. It's like you're walking into a basketball arena, a basketball court, a tennis court, and you're just walking out of the field. They say, hey, hey, uh, buddy, uh, you know, do you know what you're doing here? Uh, no, no, but I'm just going to walk over here and pick up this ball. Oh, really? You know, you belong back over there somewhere. You belong over here. What, what are you doing? There's some reason why you didn't put this in writing way before you walked there, before you walked into the in, into the in, into that courthouse? Is there some reason why you didn't put it in writing and give them all fair warning and notice of who you are and what you are and what you expect when you walk into that building? Is there some reason why you just thought you were so smart you were going to wing it? Because I was uneducated at the time. Lazy, like no, a, a you're lazy. But you're lazy. Well, you're too I, lazy yeah, I didn't you're fully too lazy understand. To put it in you, you're too lazy to put it in writing. 
If you heard my show before, if you've heard my show before, the moment that you get a citation, a ticket, a summons, anything, you immediately write a fair warning to the other side. You immediately write a letter. You immediately give them a notice on who and what they are dealing with. You don't wait to the day of the trial and think, oh, well, I'm just going to crash this uh, little party, this little game here, and I'm just going to do what I want to do. And they're just all going to bow down and kiss my ass. They're going to be like, dude, you know the rules. Send us a fair warning. Give us a notice. Make a claim. Come in as a man. Okay. It's that simple. Yeah, it, it, it's that simple. It's just sloppy and lazy. That's all it is. You watch a YouTube video, these guys say, hey, you know what? Walk into court and say, hey, am I entering into your jurisdiction? You don't know what the freaking word jurisdiction means. Yeah, I mean, that was back before I, I, had, stopped, I, I had found you just after this had happened, and that's why I'm trying to, to, to go back and correct my mistakes. That's why I, I just definitely... love that. I love, I love trying to listen to Bali answer this. It's ridiculous because Bali should have said, hey, you know what, dude? You have no effing clue what you're doing. You need to go back and listen to Carl's stuff from way back when because there's no freaking way in the hey, world Carl. you ever listen to any of his shows. Oh, that's what I was finna tell him. That's what I was just finna tell him. Oh, I, 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 knew, I knew Larry's got it. I didn't say you didn't got it. Larry said Bali, man. I couldn't believe Bali's actually answering this guy. That was finna go to sleep, man. You know Bali over that time. I'm just trying to help Bali out in the future. When you get somebody who has no effing clue, just tell them to go watch the videos. Don't waste our time. You know, just tell them to go back. You know, say, hey, have you ever bought any of the videos? No. Have you ever made a donation? No. Have you ever watched and listened to any shows? No. Well, then, you know what? I'd recommend you start at the beginning. And well, then come I have, back in I have like or two. Uh, 30 of your, your old shows that I've downloaded. I've been listening to them, and I've learned a tremendous amount since then. You know, I made a mistake then. Now I, I've got more knowledge of what's going on now. Okay, but well, like, I'm, like, I said, I'm just trying, like I said, it's not so much I'm worried about helping you. I'm trying to help Bali handle phone calls from now on. Like when people like you, it's like, Bali, when you see somebody being uh, evasive about, well, I asked the judge a question, and then uh, he said, uh, da 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 and then I asked the judge again, and then da-da-da, I saw like a tenth of court. Okay, what's the effing question? Did you ask the judge that really pissed him off? Right. You know, how did you get your ass behind the boss, man? What did you do? And then when you hear him say this stuff, then you say, dude, obviously... You know, you have no idea what you're doing. Obviously, you've never listened to this show. Obviously, you have no clue. And should you be held in contempt of court? Absolutely. Should you turn around now and sue the judge? <laughs> Hell no. Mm. Why? Because you're slack and lazy? Because you don't know what you're doing? Okay, maybe you've been the world's greatest architect or the best baker, the butcher, or the candlestick stick maker in your town, but you have no effing clue how to act in public, and you have no act, clue how to act when you go into a courthouse. It's not the judge's fault. He's got nothing but anybody himself to blame. If he wants to blame somebody, go blame his mommy and daddy, go kick his mom and dad in the ass. But other than that, he's got nobody to blame. He certainly ain't, the judge ain't got the, the, nothing to be you know, remorseful for. The judge was just like, man, I got time for this. Oh, this guy watched a YouTube video. Oh, another free man. Yay, yippee, hooray. Another tree hugger. Yay. Get him out of here. So what and is the my judge, recourse from here? What's great about that, you should give the judge a, you should send him some, uh, like Bali says, some candies or something like that and say, thank you. Thank you for kicking me in the ass. Because you know what, judge? What out of the judge said, hey, hey, sir, you know what? You're absolutely right. What are we doing to you? you we got no, so no jurisdiction control over you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. You would never have listened to any of my shows then. You would have never learned how to do anything about law. You would have just said, oh, wow, that was cool. I just have to keep walking in the courtroom all the time and say, hey, you got no jurisdiction over me. I ain't doing it. I'm going home. And he said, oh, just says, okay, that's right. That's fine. That's lovely. Go home. Everybody in the courthouse, go home. That's right. Society, just do whatever you want. That's right. We're not, we're not here to help uh, control uh, the society and the masses. That's right. What, what the hell am I thinking? 